UAB dental researchers are recruiting 250 people for a national clinical trial to find out if these mints will prevent cavities in adults. The mints contain the common artificial sweetener xylitol, which is found in many candies, gums, and mouthwashes. Well, it affects the uh, pH level. Even if they're in the xylitol group or if they're in the placebo group, it patient can benefit because that will stimulate their saliva and when you in stimulate saliva you kind of bathe the teeth and so they'll be having less chance of having those uh, cavities. Dr. Sonia Makija is leading UAB's part of a study called EXACT. We want to target an audience that have had caries in the past year or no more than you know or high active caries individuals. Participants will use five mints each day for three years coming to the clinic each year for a follow-up exam. The study is randomized, so half will get the mints with xylitol and half will get the placebo. We hope to find that um, patients that have small cavities either regress back to not having cavities or patients that are prone to have cavities won't have cavities at all because of this. Dr. Makisha says that the mint should not replace regular brushing and flossing. Mm -hmm.